Duke Grant Sports Magazine presents the 2012 UCYFL Playoffs. Today's matchup pits the 10U Emerton Buccaneers Red versus the 10U Perry Hall Gators Gold. Both teams come in with a potent ground game. As you see the pickoff, and the Emerton Buccaneers get the ball. This was a tough game. This was a game where hitting was the norm. Watch this hit on number 27 by number 7 of the Buccaneers. That was a taste of what was happening all day. As you see, just splattering of punishment by both teams. Neither team could really get anything done. It was more of a game of attrition than it was of skill and grace. They were good passing, good running, but better tackling and better blocking. This was a game of technical will, not just skill. It was a contest of defensive prowess. Those who like to watch the defensive side of the ball really got a treat on this. But the game, the difference, seemed to be up front as the Periol Gators seemed to control the offensive line. The Buccaneers struggled all day long trying to get anything going. They, did, they were hitting on defense. As you can see, number 24, breaking a few tackles, but not getting much, as this was just a war, especially up front. Here you see the struggles up front. Nobody seemed to get a leg up on this game. While the Buccaneers struggled to find their rhythm, Perry Hall Gators did what they do best. Straight up the gut. Two yards in a cloud of dust. Four yards in a cloud of dust. Six yards in a cloud of dust. Three yards in a cloud of dust. They weren't worrying about anything but moving the chains. And if you watched the game, you saw that as the game progressed, the offensive line seemed to start to take over. As the talented running backs couldn't get much, but just enough to move the chains and keep the game going. As you can see the movement here, number 24, getting to the outside. Just getting enough yardage to continue to move those chains. This is what Perry Hall did all day. Nothing fancy, no real big plays, just enough to keep things going and keep the Buccaneers on their heels. But the Buccaneers defense, led by number 78, kept things interesting as he was all over the field making tackle after tackle. And near the end of the first half, the Perry Hall Gators were in, deep in the territory of the Bucks. But the Bucks goal line stand kept them out of the end zone time and again. This was, and is, one of the best goal line stands that we've seen. But in the second half, it was more of the same. The Bucks tried to get things going but couldn't. The Gators, three, four, five yards in a cloud of dust. Just enough to move the chain. Again, just a brutal battering game. Nothing fancy, just going straight up the gut. Here you see number 27. And the variety of his friends going in and out. Just punching. Punching, punching, trying to get something going. Punching and punching, again, four yards, three yards, five yards at a clip. Just enough to keep the Emerton Buccaneers off the field on their offense and to keep the offense of this Perry Hall Gators on the field. There you see a beautiful run. Again, watch this in Duke Grant. Reverse field slow motion. Watch number 24 as he goes through and then G sees number 22 and says, Oh, maybe I'll go this way. You just go that way. And he danced for an extra yard. Now again, 
They're inside the 10 yard line of the Buccaneers. And they bruise in for the touchdown. Great execution, methodical coaching by the Perry Hall Gators. Wonderfully done as they were able to wear down the Emerton Buccaneers on that drive. The extra point is no good. Leaving the score 6 0. Watch this block. Beautiful block by number three. This was a great game. Gators lead 6 0. The champions die hard and they don't go quiet. As number 22 launches one to number three and he sprints down the sideline. Watch this again as we watch this in reverse action Duke Grant slow motion. Watch this throw. Beautiful throw right over the head of number 28. And number three gets some great yardage as the Buccaneers are now cooking with gas. Now they go to number 22 and he gets some good yardage. The ball pops loose, but the referee says that the knees were down. Watch, watch this again in reverse action. Duke Grant slow motion as number 22 does his thing. But we got the best refs in the UCYFL. As you can see, he still has the ball, and his knees were down. Great job by the referees of the UCYFL. The best in the business, baby. The best in the business. Now the Buccaneers are trying to take a page out of Perry Hall's book. Just trying to keep the ball on the ground and move. As you see, number 43, their bread and butter back. Trying to go back to the things that made them successful, which is running the football, great blocks, and great execution. Here you see number 22 making a move. He's got a man wide open, but he drops it. Number 21 couldn't hold on. That was a big play. And then number 22 again, this time on a reverse. But the Perry Hall Gators have smelled it out pretty well. This is a well-designed defense that the Perry Hall Gators are employing. And they very rarely fool. And here you see number 22 buried again this time by number 12. these bucks are trying to make something happen as time is running out on their season and on their reign as two-time champions a great throw but number 11 couldn't hang on and it looks like this may be the end for the Emerton buccaneers as the perry hall gators take a knee and defeat the Emerton Buccaneers Red and move on to face the number one seed, Cecil County Jaguars. Thanks for watching. And if you can't attend the game, you can always watch it with the Duke. Duke Grant, Sports Magazine, home of the very baddest young dudes in sports. Not happy. Woo! You're not happy. Take it now and go. Hey, Jimmy, not happy. Enjoy that, dude. You're not happy. All right. So one more. One more. That's it.